Matthew Peterson, a business administration major. I am a senior graduating in May. Um, my question is to both candidates, preferably starting with uh, Mayor Godfrey. He talked a little bit about bringing uh, jobs to Ogden, new jobs, high-paying jobs. I'm kind of curious as to why that's important. How do we get Ogden residents taking these new high-paying jobs and what you'll do to continue to bring more jobs to the community? And if you both wouldn't mind answering that. Sure. Jobs are the lifeblood of our community. It's what drives the economy, and as I mentioned earlier, it's what brings disposable income to your family. So it's not just jobs, but it's the higher-paying jobs that we need to go after. And so it's the high-end manufacturing, like Adam Aircraft that's coming in, and the ski company jobs, and the other white-collar jobs that are coming into downtown that really provide a rounded base for our economy. One of the ski companies in Los Solomon, I believe, alone brings in a uh, tax roll just that one company, their, their, in, their uh, salaries, $30 million a year to this economy. What's going to happen as we see more and more of these, these companies come in is we see more opportunity for small businesses to start up because now there's a turn of the dollars. The dollars aren't just spent once. As these new people come into town and, or, and new jobs are made available, and by the way, the bulk of the jobs are being given to people in Ogden. The Amer Group, which is the one that gets the most notoriety, um, they, they only brought in 30% of their employees. 70% of the people that are working for that company are people from our community. So it's been a major upgrade for most of those people. So they now went from jobs that were paying $50,000. The average job at Amer Solomon Atomic Sunto is $69,000 a year. So we're seeing upgrades for, for families so that they have more money. And that money is turned over and over as they go to shop at the store and get new tires. That money rotates through the community and creates more opportunity for businesses and other families to take advantage of the economic lifting, that tide, if you will, that, raise, that raises all boats. Can you restate the question? Yeah, would you? Do you mind? I'll start the question there. I was wondering um, why the jobs are important. How are we getting Ogden residents to take these high paying jobs? And what will you do to continue bringing high paying jobs to Ogden? Okay. Number one, I think in this whole debate here, we've gone from, it just seems to me like every day I hear it, we've gone from 4,000 to 5,000 to 6,000 jobs, and, and I don't see it. I see people on the streets who are looking for good paying jobs. You know, you can throw out any number you want to throw out, and somebody's going to believe it. We do have to have good jobs. We need good paying jobs. We need to keep our kids here. We need to keep students like you in Ogden because we need your political, we're going, to, we're going to need your political expertise at some point down the road. But as far as saying that I can go out and do this, folks, I can find the, I may not be the smartest, but I can find the smartest people, and most of them are right here at Weber State, that can help us make an economic development plan that we can all be proud of and understand which direction we're going. I don't have the same figures, and I don't have the same information Mayor Godfrey has. I'm just a poor city council person. There's a, there's a lack of commitment from the city. We have new people. Hi. Hello, my name is Michael Turner, Public Relations. Uh, I'm a public person, it's my major. Oh, we have all these new buildings, but we don't have one solar panel on top of the new buildings. We don't have one. I went to a county building, as is it our obligation? We're spending money into Iraq and other places to have energy, to get our energy for the United States. But hopefully, we don't have the money. For these, the, the new energy. We have a big, big push for new energy in Ogden, but we don't have one solar panel on top of the buildings. I mean, new buildings. Are we, is there going to be a new commitment towards new energy? Does that make sense? I guess it's me. He's looking at me. Okay. Uh, we are undertaking an energy audit right now. We have three different people. We have a request for a proposal that's out, and they're inventorying all of our municipal buildings and telling us what kinds of technologies we can employ to help save money for the city. It used to be that, that alternative 
um, energies was something you did for philosophical reasons. But more and more as the technology is evolving, it actually makes a difference to the bottom line. So we have two different companies that I'm aware of that both say that they can save us money by giving us renewable energy options. That um, analysis should be done in the next six months, and then they will actually fund on their nickel the improvements, the solar panels and those kinds of things, to the city, and then they take the cost savings as their payment back. So I anticipate that in the next year we will see that kind of technology enter the Ogden City government standpoint, and I think once businesses see us doing it, we'll see it translate into some of the other businesses. It's very technology-driven, and, and that technology is evolving rapidly, and I think we'll see more and more in the community in years to come. The only thing, I don't, I'm not privy to this information at all. It's never been brought to the council. I do know we've bought a few cars that are supposed to be friendly hyper, hybrids for the city uh, that the police department is using. I'd like to see us do more of that as we re, as we rebuy and, and uh, move our vehicles around. Um, I, d I think that uh, what you're speaking of here is something that private industry would be the best to do. I think that's something that we ought to get commitments maybe from our banks, from the new buildings that we're building down in the mall, and say, hey, take a look at this. Save our energy. Okay. I think the gentleman in the green shirt.